Alright guys, welcome back. I used up our points. I purchased another Basilisk. I purchased a Command Squad here. Because they should be able to... Stay with our Basilisks here and increase their morale so we don't suffer penalties. I would have liked to buy bought some different units, however, I've kind of maximized that already. So those cost 500. How much does this cost? 350. So I wonder, actually, if I disbanded him, yeah, I would be short, so I wouldn't have enough to buy. I was thinking of maybe just buying another Salamander Command so they would still be able to be useful if there was nothing to shoot, but that is not the case here. So, um, and then I upgraded our Ogrins to the Veterans, and that is how I spent the points. I did think about getting some more Destroyer tanks, but uh, I decided against that because we are running into not having enough points for things. If I could have been able to recruit an additional unit, this would have had a very different uh, setup pattern, I think. This guy, our scouts, because he has us. You can see four spots. These guys can come over and start shooting. Here so you can keep seeing things. Now. I guess we should just fire this guy. anybody else without chancing being seen I think so they got pretty tight quarters here so we'll end turn attack here attack there and move you up here This guy. This will be over here. 
put you guys on the Yeah, we'll just have to What is this? Man, there's a lot of tank busters in this mission. I think everybody attacks, so we will go to the next turn. Why are you suffering so many casualties? Wait. That's not 11, that's 0. I was going to say, why? I thought we just uh, attacked not so long ago. I didn't suffer any casualties. these guys out.
one, two, three, four. Okay, I think it's gonna be safe for you. Oh, you can't move there. One, two, three, four. Should be safe. Wasted their attack because they can't. You guys see one or two? One. It's not going to work. This guy has to die. Because they can see my guys. Alright, let's end turn. Okay, let's save this here. I feel like I'm not...
One, two, three, four. This is tough. Now this should block his sight, but then I also block my other guy's range of sight as well. Boys, a bit into three. Did I do any damage to this guy? Oh shit. This is just insane. I've got two range, just like everybody else.
Okay, good job. Now, he only has 15 guys. One, two, three, four. There's a cannon here. Alright, let's do tester three. here where I can't attack these guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to... I'm willing to accept that. We've got another warp, warp boss up here.
two. Okay. Alright, I think I might have just botched this, but we'll see what happens. I understand why that just happened, but then. So now, I guess my next question is, is who do I kill?
Could this thing be blocking the view? See what happens. I must say, I was kind of hoping I'd continue to be able to see your war boss.
everybody's coming. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know how. Actually, they already killed that guy.
vision do these guys have? Anybody else has a boot yet? They haven't moved. And this guy hasn't moved yet. Hmm. I guess we'll just see what happens. Tester, maybe they're just really bad rolls. Just like critically poor rolls. Next problem though is
turn. You guys just continue to stand back here. Shoot here. Taking out those guns. Take these guns. Turn. I knew there was going to be a war boss there.
You guys down here. You guys over here. Last one. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Victory. Whew, certainly a challenging level. Kill the cannons. So, hmm, I guess that's only two points there. So we lost a couple of Algrins. That's really it. I think, oh, I guess we lost some Ogrens over there as well. Pretty good. I ended up getting one of these guys as well, so. Good, Commander. You have dealt the Orc Warlord a severe blow. Hades will stand much longer now we have destroyed the siege batteries, before the accursed things were even operational. Destroying the flak guns as well is a great boon. Although the skies will never be safe as long as the orcs are here, we can at least capitalize on the lull you have created to begin an evacuation of non-essential personnel to Asheron Hive. Emperor willing, the shuttles should get away unmolested. I want you and your men on the last void ship. Take that useless commissar of yours with you. Okay. Hades is doomed to fall. But at least now we have a small time frame to evacuate. Come with us, Commissar. The rest of Armageddon could use your leadership. Or no, Commissar, we will stay with you. It is, as you said, Hades needs every willing man. So I wonder if this is going to be a split point then. No, I stay, along with a few other brave souls ready to commit their lives to the Emperor. I gave my word that Hades will not fall. I don't intend to break it. Now go. Asheron will doubtless be under attack soon. I need someone mildly competent there to help defend it. You surprised me, Commander. The Crucible of War often fashions great men out of the shoddiest materials. And maybe you're one of them. Well, that's a backhanded comment. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him all! Hello, Commander. You do get around, don't you? 
Alas, this looks to be the end. You have my personal good wishes in the impending engagement. Please forward them on to the citizens of Asheron. I send a gift of 20 of my personal bodyguards. I've had enough of their chuntering about a lack of action, so I send them to you. Station them on the front gates and ensure they are the first to see the action they crave. I would send the Emperor's blessings, but I can't see how that will help. Farewell. Yet again, Commander, I am forced to question your motives. You have taken us from one hopeless situation to the next. At least in Hades Hive, we were operating under the auspices of Yarrick. How can we affect things here? The orcs are striking in greater numbers than we have ever seen. By the light of Ophelia, look! They're coming! Commander, order the men to defend the Hive! I find your pessimism trying, Commissar. Let us take Yarrick's example. He inspired us, and in turn, we inspire the men of Asheron. Captain Carone. Colonel Carone. It's good to see you again, Commander, and your Commissar. After we separated, my men and I made for Asheron. The season of fire comes. Even the Orcs will struggle with the conditions then. And there are reports that the Wolf Storms are a... Here they come! Get ready! Okay. So looks like we're doing another defensive mission, which means we'll probably suffer some pretty heavy casualties. I'll also go back and see if that's a branching point, and if it is, then we'll do the two pass again. Control at least five victory hexes at the end of the scenario. Got some more points. Can we purchase anything? Yes, we can purchase three additional units. Is there anything that's new? That looks pretty much like the same old stuff. Could really use an upgrade, especially because they're starting to get some incredibly heavy units of their own that are making us quite trying. But uh, let's save it. I'll call it Leaving Yark. And uh, we'll see if this is a branch point or not. Um, the other thing I should mention is, I don't think I really talked much about Yark. Um, there was a kind of an awkward cutscene that, if you don't know the Warhammer lore, wouldn't have made much sense to you. It is where Yark comes back and he's like, why are you looking at me? Is it because I've got this uh, like cyborg eye and this claw for a hand? Uh, the reasoning behind that, as they kind of alluded to, is he got into a fight with one of the major orc leaders and was doing a one-on-one -on -one duel with them and he ended up killing the orc after it severed his arm and he took off the power claw of the orc and had that um, replanted for his arm that was cut off and then he also lost his eye so then he had this cyborg eye put on and the orcs because they're kind of superstitious and primitive they think that's some sort of uh, magical abilities so it kind of freaks them out and uh, they just have this great fear and respect for Yarrick so they keep the war boss that's here keeps wanting to kill Yarrick because of uh, he deems that he would be a good fight so that's kind of the backstory there all right thank you for watching and we'll get started on this next mission momentarily <laughs>